morning of the canonization of John Henry Newman. Thousands of people already here, many more arriving. In a couple of hours, uh, the Holy Father will say Mass and declare John Henry Newman a saint. The church is officially recognizing all that Newman did, both in the, in the uh, subject of education and in conscience, the formation of conscience. Cardinal Newman is a very important person for the people all over the world. And he says Newman was always looking for the truth. He was searching the truth. And he found it in the Catholic Church. Fratrum Nostrum Concilio, Beatus Ioannem Enrico Newman. On October the 13th, 2019, John Henry Newman was declared a saint. Thousands of pilgrims from around the world came to witness the occasion and honor his legacy, even Great Britain's Prince of Wales. Yes, it was a wonderful occasion and a great spirit in the whole place. And as you say, seeing those people from all over the world and all the wonderful representatives who came here as well. He struggled for the truth, he paid, he suffered for the truth, uh, but he found the truth and he was an inspiration to so many. And it's just an honour and a joy to be in Rome today for this. The Holy Father is just passing by, he has just declared John Henry Newman is saint. We can now say, Saint John Henry Newman, pray for us. Sister Christiane Fritsch from the spiritual family The Work, a community inspired by John Henry Newman, tells us who Saint John Henry Newman was. Newman was born in London on the 21st of February, 1801. He was raised in an Anglican family, the first of six children. At the age of 15, he had a special experience. He uh, discovered a personal God in his life. And uh, just nine years later, he was ordained an Anglican priest in Christchurch, Oxford. For more than 20 years then, he worked as an Anglican clergyman and professor at Oriel College. Oxford. The studies of the early church fathers, though, led him into the Catholic Church, where he was received uh, on the 9th of October, 1845. And uh, two years later, in Rome, he was ordained a Catholic priest. Newman founded the St. Philip Neri Oratory in England and wrote many significant writings on various issues throughout his life. In 1879, he was created a cardinal by Pope Leo XIII. Newman always followed his conscience, a truly a gifted teacher on the dignity of conscience and at the same time respect for revealed truth. Conscience for him was an echo of God's voice in man. He would not say yes to conscience and no to God, faith, and the church. But his yes to conscience meant yes to God, faith, and the church. He was highly esteemed for his humility, his untiring concern for souls, and his written contributions to the intellectual life of the Catholic Church.